everyone, it's Jamie. Welcome back. If you're new here, welcome. Thank you for clicking on this video. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. So, okay, today's video is a code orange. If you are a Halloween lover like myself, then you're probably going to like this video. So I do have just a tiny bit of Halloween decor. When I was out uh, Halloween decor hunting, my stores really didn't have a whole lot out just yet. Um, I did, I think there was probably about three or four stores that I went to that had Halloween decor, but I ended up only purchasing items from two stores. So the stores that I went to were the Crackle Barrel, uh, Home Goods, the At Home Store, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, the Dollar Tree, uh, Michaels, Tuesday Morning, and I think that is about, I think that's it. I think that's all the stores that I went to. But, um, like I said, there was just, I think, three stores that had anything Halloween. Uh, when I went to Cracker Barrel, I was looking for that infamous resin ghost with the lantern, <laughs> which everybody since last year has gone cuckoo over, and it is super hard to find. So, anyway, I asked one of the ladies at the Cracker Barrel when they were going to get Halloween decor in, and she said it would be two weeks. So... I don't know if it's really worth all the hype or not. Um, I know it's pretty pricey. I think it's around $60. Um, so I don't know. And then my nearest Cracker Barrel is about 45 minutes or so away, 45 minutes to an hour um, away. And I don't know if I really care to drive that far. I guess I could call, but who knows? <laughs> who knows? But anyway... So I went to the Cracker Barrel, there wasn't anything. Went to um, TJ Maxx and um, Marshalls and there just wasn't any Halloween there either. So then I went over to um, Tuesday morning. Tuesday morning did have a few things. They didn't have what I was looking for, but I did take pictures of all the Halloween decor that I did find at each of these stores and I posted it on my Instagram. So if you guys want to head over to my Instagram, it's at Jamie's Creations YT, and you can see some of the items that I found. Um, so anyway, I didn't get anything at Tuesday morning, so I headed over to um, Home Goods, and Home Goods I did find um, a few little things that I will be showing you guys, and then Michaels they didn't have anything at Michaels. I think they're starting to put stuff out though because they were doing a big um, I think it was like a, the $5 box, mystery box things that you can get, but, um, and then they also had racks and racks of merchandise that they were getting ready to stock, fall stuff, so I would say Halloween's probably going to be there in the next few days, but, so anything, anyway, I didn't find anything at Michael's, uh, Dollar Tree, I went to a couple Dollar Trees and nothing Halloween related at the Dollar Trees. So then I went over to um, the at home store and the at home store, they did have quite a bit of Halloween decor. I know it's not all of it, not all of it is out, but they did have quite a bit to choose from. Um, I didn't really buy a whole lot there because we all know right now, inflation, everything's a lot more expensive. So you kind of have to <laughs> decide, is it really worth it? Or you know, can I just wait? Maybe next year things will be better. I don't know. So I didn't really buy a whole lot, but I am going to show you what I did find, which I think everything is super cute and I'm excited to show you guys. So the first store that I'm going to show you guys what I found is from the at home store. So my bedroom, I'm going to be doing a makeover, like redoing my bedroom. I may film that for you guys. I'm not really sure, but I am going for like a, I'm not really sure if there's a word for it. I think there kind of is, but it's like a cottage core, but like a dark aesthetic, sort of like a witchy kind of vibe. <laughs> um, I don't know if that makes any sense. I am not a witch, but I just kind of like that whole um, kind of theme. I don't know. But this item that I'm getting ready to show you guys, I'm going to be putting in my bedroom. Now, this technically is not Halloween, but, I mean, you could still use it for Halloween if you wanted to. 
Um, but I'm going to be putting this in my bedroom. So it is this set of four canvases. I think these are so cool. I love anything that has to do with moons or stars or anything like that. Um, I do like the sun, but it's not my favorite. Um, I, I'm just really more into the moon and the stars. So anyway, I found these. These were $29.99. You do get four canvases in here, and these canvases are 10 by 10. So that's not too, too bad of a deal. So I got these so that I can put these in my bedroom. So I grabbed those. And then as far as Halloween decor goes, um, like I said, I, I, I didn't get a whole lot. I only bought a couple of things. There was this gargoyle, which I thought was so cute. And I really wanted him to, but I didn't get him. He was $29.99 also. But anyway, um, I found this. And I thought this was so adorable. So this is a little witch's boot, and it's like a votive candle holder. So this is made out of um, like a resin type material, even though it does look like cement. Um, anyway, I thought this was so cute. This was $8.99. So I did go ahead and just grab one of these. I might have should have grabbed two, so I may go back and get a second one. I'm not real sure. But anyway, I thought that was cute. And then the last thing that I got from the at-home store is this little witch's broom. It's like a little shelf sitter type thing. It kind of, it stands up on its own. But I thought this was so cute. The only thing I don't like about it is I don't really care for the glitter. But I don't know. It's really not that bad. There's not too, too much glitter on there. So anyway, I went ahead and grabbed this. Now this was $4.99. And so I got this. I thought this would look cute on a tiered tray or a shelf or a table or whatever. So um, anyway, I thought this was really cute. So I grabbed it. So that is everything that I got from the at-home store. So I'm going to go ahead and move on and show you guys what I found at HomeGoods. Okay, so the first thing that I found at HomeGoods. Now, I could not pass this up. I thought it was so cute. So if you guys know, I think it's Joanna Parker, if I'm wrong, let me know, but she does sort of the vintage type Halloween, um, I don't know. I'll show you guys this and you'll kind of, if you know who Joanna Parker is, then you'll understand what I'm, where I'm coming from, <laughs> but I thought this was so cute. So look at this. It is a little pumpkin person shelf sitter she's so adorable i love her little face look at her little lipstick oh my gosh so cute i love this little bat that is on her top her little pearl buttons she's so adorable so i i had to get her i thought she was so cute so she was only 12.99 and this is the um sweet street decor line so, and her little stem up here has a wire in it, so you can, you know, bend it however you want to bend it. But anyway, I thought she was so adorable, so I had to get her. And then as I was looking, I thought, you know what? She needs a boyfriend. Her needs a man, okay? So, <laughs> I found this. I thought this is so cute, too. Look at him. Oh, he looks so happy. I just love his little striped tie, his polka dotted shirt. Look at the suspenders. Oh my goodness, so cute. So yeah, I had to get him. So I got him and then he was also $12.99 and from the same Sweet Street line. So cute. So then I thought, you know what? I think they need friends. So look at this. He is so adorable also oh my goodness so this one was only $9.99 and it's also from the sweet street line but I thought he was so cute so he is a shelf sitter also with the little dangly striped legs so cute I love these little button detail on his arm adorable 
So anyway, I went ahead and grabbed him. And then when I got home, I noticed on, I think it was Instagram, I seen where someone had posted a picture of the girl. There's a girl one. I had no idea because my store didn't have a girl. So now I'm going to have to go back and get him a girlfriend. <laughs> so anyway, I thought this was so cute. So I had to get it. And then the last thing that I got, okay, I know not everybody is into Ray Dunn. I like Ray Dunn. I don't go out and like search high and low for Ray Dunn, but if I happen to find something then, and I like it, I might get it. I really do like her um, Halloween, the stuff that she does for Halloween. But usually in my stores, if there is any Ray Dunn Halloween anything, it's snatched up really, really quick. So I was probably pretty lucky to get this. Um, I got there when the store was, I think the store had just been open for, I think, 20 minutes or so. So I was kind of early getting in there before everybody else. But I'm sure if I had waited any longer, then it would have been gone. But um, I found this says hocus pocus it's black so cute i love this this is like really heavy duty so this is like a crock that you would put your um like utensils or whatever into but i got this because i think i may put a plant in here like a potted plant um so yeah i just love this so this was uh 19.99 and I have noticed also a lot of the uh, Ray Dunn stuff, along with everything else, has gone up. The price of it has gone up. So it's gone up to like five, between five and ten dollars, sometimes fifteen or twenty, which I think is ridiculous. But anyway, um, I thought this was really cute, so I went ahead and grabbed it. Now they did have one that was white, and then across the top up here it had, I don't know it was if they were dancing skeletons or what they were doing. But it had little skeletons going around the rim of it, which I thought that was cute. But I really, really, really just liked this one because Hocus Pocus is like my favorite kids sort of Halloween movie um, besides Halloween Town. I love Halloween Town, too. Um, but yeah, I cannot wait until Hocus Pocus Part 2 comes out. Is anybody else excited about it? I'm so excited. I can't wait. So anyway, I went ahead and grabbed this. So that is everything that I found so far. I am going to go back out in the next couple of days to see what else I can possibly find. But um, I have a feeling most of the stuff is really going to come out after the school supplies and everything like that has, has come out and kids go back to school. So anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, leave me a comment, and let me know what you're looking for this year for Halloween. So, anyway, I hope that you all are having a wonderful day. I wanted to thank you all for watching, and I'll talk to you all later.